Hey, um, can ever bring it in where you can hear me. I cannot talk any louder than this, but there's important things to say. And I will tell you this, hard things are hard. It's hard to win a football game. It's hard to be great. It's hard to be that special guy. It's so easy to give in, but it, hard things are hard. Well, it's been a week since the Huskies achieved the first, beating Boston College on homecoming day here at Pratt Whitney Stadium. Now, a rival comes a-calling on a Friday night looking to throw a monkey wrench into the Huskies' second attempt to get to 500. It's round 76 of UConn UMass here in East Target. At UConn, over all those years, the Huskies had the advantage 17-15-1, but last year, a win by UMass snapped a long losing streak for them, and the Minutemen fans just stormed the field. Wayne, and I, I think that was not only embarrassing, but it hurt because UMass has struggled mightily, just as UConn has over the last five seasons. So for the Huskies to go up there and lose, I, I think this is meaningful to UConn football here tonight. Chance to get to five and five, obviously. Keep the hope alive to maybe get a bowl invitation, become bowl eligible. Be a bully on the field. See you can bully. Look across that line and see that look in the eyes. I know we don't want it like we want it. You hear that? Yeah, you should feel it. This is the game you live for, man. That's why you get up at 5.30 and come to Zero Dark Friday. That's why you push the weight. That's why you make a commitment to get. We got a lot to prove. Can nobody but us, though, can nobody but us, can we play to our standard? Let's see how they react to it. The Huskies have reacted pretty well over the uh, first nine games of the season to what looks like maybe an adverse situation or a difficult situation. From Brett Whitney Stadium, Rensselaer Field, it's UConn football on a Friday night with their rivals from just north to UConn tries to get back to the 500 mark and register their fifth win of the season. On the face of my city, co-signed by Diddy, hard liquor, I'm sh Hotel to Mary, when they drop the ball, that's a fumble, and Mitchell has no it, and Mitchell's on the run pretty. to the 30, inside the 30 to the 20 yard line. Winning. He threw a lateral, no good. He missed me. to the Ain't right, no and Got the so hitting. the game, game remains scoreless. Time out on the field, UMass dodges a major bullet. Now he steps up, and he is sacked. Back to the line of scrimmage, he gets, but that's it. As the Huskies, Colin McCarthy is able to get to him. And it's good. He's jumped out to a 3 nothing lead. Zion on the face Turner. of my city, co-signed by Hands Denny. off on Hard a sweep to the left. It's Devontae Hotel Houston. Up the left side, 40, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, Hater! Devontae Houston hasn't touched the ball in three weeks. And the first time he touches it, he takes it 75 yards to the house. Blistering speed, a wide open hole. Before he is knocked out of bounds. 22 yarder is good. And you've got tags on three. They lead it 10 to 3. 9 23. No kidding. Wasn't always as pretty. Caught at the 30, the 20, and in for a touchdown. 
on the Cam face of my Sullivan city. Brown. Call by Diddy. Hard nigga, I'm six-yard field Hotel goal. Hotel some bitty. Got to do in my bidding. No you way. change, no kidding. Wasn't always this UConn pretty. UConn takes a 13 to 10 lead with under a minute to go. Eight men converge, and it's knocked down incomplete. End of half. First half has come to an end. Stay tuned. The halftime report. 13-10, UConn. It's been a battle. Jesus is like the BC game last week, Adam, where it was 10-3 Huskies. There's just opportunities to just leave it on the scoreboard right now. And some of us rose up and some of us melted. So we learn at this point right now who we can count on. And then we learn who we need to step up so we can count on them. Okay? And I said out there when I pulled you up, it's on you guys to decide who you want to be. I can't make that decision. Only you guys can make that decision. Okay? We learned a lot of things, and I'll tell you again, if you want to be great, and I would, damn, I would hope you all want to be great. I would hope, I, would, but I, can't, I don't want to hear yes, sir. I want to see it. And I will tell you this, hard things are hard. You are in here 500. There is no alternative, but you have to decide. You guys have to decide. So if, if you're not in, if you're not in, cheer. We're not going nowhere. So right now we only got two options. We can't go nowhere. So we can lay down, we can die out there, or we can come out here with a W. There's only two options. Leave your mark, leave your legacy. These are the games you do that. Okay, here we go. Brotherhood, one, two, three, brotherhood, let's go. We're back at Pratt Woody Stadium, the second yeah. half, just a couple of minutes away. 13-10, UConn leads. UMass, tight formation, Zion turns up for seven, turns it to Robert Burns, Burns burst through at the 10, brought down from behind at the five yard line. He had the goal line in his sights. All the five yard line. Turn, hand off Rosa, Rosa ahead, and keeps piling ahead at the goal line, and he's in! Oh, Victor Rosa, second, third, fourth effort, six points is the catch. Up. And he missed it from point blank range. Cameron Carson missed a 27 yard attempt. And Turner ahead to Rosa. Jock step right. Stays on his feet left. Up the left side of the 20. Stays on his feet. Powers his way ahead to the seven yard line. Tough running by Victor Rosa. Victor Rosa breaks through the right side and he's in. Oh, Victor VR for six, and he can dance in the end zone. Yes, he can. 26 to 10. Takes a snap. Looks down at the LA. He's under pressure. He threw it away. Obo was intercepted. I think they say he was in bounds. Oh, Trey Werther has put an end to it with an interception on the sideline right in front of the UMass bench. What a play by Trey. Well, it didn't come easy. UConn had a three-point lead at halftime. And they were able to score twice in the second half to end up winning at 27 to 10. Two teams meeting in the center of the field, but the Huskies have gone to five and five. When the season began, I don't think there were many experts who said UConn will win half of their first 10 games, but they've done it. The Huskies have won four of their last five games. And the Huskies have uh, have the most wins since 2015. we ain't done yet. Hey, man, listen up. Hey, more. hey, none of that. None of that. You are hey, him. You are him. Hey, no. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> It's you guys, because you accepted the challenge at halftime. Okay, I don't think we, hey, let's be happy with the win, but we cannot yes, be ugly. satisfied yes, with the way we played in the first half. Yes, okay, but well, I'm so happy for you, I'm happy for us, 
okay? Our work is far from done. We got a ton of freaking work to do. We're going to do it, but man, it feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't easy, was it? Yes, That's what makes it worth it. Yes, it's hard. When it, it's hard, because hard things are hard. Hey, hey, hey. Brother, you got to get hard. Hey, hey, hey. Brother, one, two, three, brother. Hey, hey, hey.